I want to talk about one of the things that doesn't really get discussed enough when it comes to moving into management. Um, people kind of romanticize moving up, you know, more money, better car, better house, um, better lifestyle, you know, uh, being the boss, you know, bossing people around, ordering them to get you this and that. Um, there's so many fantasies out there. Uh, but one thing that never really gets highlighted enough, and I uh, speak from my own experience, is uh, seeing the advice people get when you know they trying to prepare for management. One thing that's extremely difficult when you transition, make that transition, and it gets even more more difficult as you move up, 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 um, is just being able to change your vision, right? Being able to change your perspective. And what I mean by that is. I remember being an individual contributor. I remember being the sort of, I guess, the first person that, you know, customers engage with, the person who's handling, you know, tickets and, and customer success. Uh, you're just trying to get through each day. So you're just thinking, you know, in the morning, your boss is giving you work. And throughout the day, you're getting more work, more work, more work. And you're just trying to get to the end of the day, right? It's literally just day by day. That's how you take it. That's how you survive. And um, that's how you approach your work. And then you move up, you know, ever so slightly, right? And then suddenly, you know, you're not given work just day by day. You're kind of given, you know, you have to finish all this by the end of the week, right? So now you're thinking, okay, you approach your work in such a manner that, okay, I need to get this done by Monday because this will, you know, sort of be a prerequisite for me to work on that, which needs to get done by Tuesday. And then this will get done Wednesday. And then, you know, Thursday and Friday will be sort of the safety net or the days where I catch up on whatever I didn't do. So, you know, it's then you have to shift and, and think about work in a weekly basis. And, you know, as you grow and as you move up and become more and more senior, you have to start looking at things that, OK, how you know, where am I taking my team, you know, three months from now? Right. What, what are we going to deliver? Um, you know, where am I taking my uh, business unit or my department a year from now. And, you know, when you, when you're in upper management, right, it's where am I taking the company five years from now, right? The things we're working on today, what are they going to look like five years from now? They're going to un undergo a lot of enhancements, a lot of upgrade, a lot of changes. Um, we need to prepare for that. We need to uh, think about what the landscape is going to look like in five years, what technology is going to look like in, in five years. Um, what problems might arise that we want to start, you know, responding to? Uh, just try to make all sorts of predictions and just be a steward guiding the ship that is your department, that is your business unit, that is your your product. And as you move up and up and up, you know, you're sort of thinking long term. I I have to think, you know, where is this enterprise going five years from now? How can I get them to ten years from now? Because companies are meant to last many, many lifetimes, right? That's their goal. They're, no no company has any due date, right? They, they want to, you know, many, many of them have survived for decades and they intend to survive for decades or even centuries more. And they want the people at the top to kind of have that perspective that we, you know, we need to think five or 10 years in advance um, and, you know, plan accordingly. And as someone who had a very steep career growth, what was really difficult for me is, you know, sometimes I move into a management role or I, I move up into a role where I'm supposed to be thinking long term. But then I have a team that's, you know, they're individual contributors. They're the people doing the work and they're working on a problem. And sometimes I get involved in the problem. Sometimes, you know, they'll, they'll be talking about the problem amongst themselves and I'll sort of be thinking about, OK, how can I solve it? How can I help my team? And I lose focus. It's not easy to shift how you think about things. And it's very easy when you move up to kind of fall into old habits where you sort of think about small, small details. When you do that, you lose sight of the overall picture and you have to learn to step back. And as you go higher and higher in the career ladder, you're stepping back, further back, further back so that you can widen your vision, you can widen your scope, and you can just see more and more of the picture. So this is a very small detail. This is a very small transition that is necessary as you grow in your career. It doesn't get discussed enough. 
I don't think people even give it a thought. I think they think that just as you move up, you know, your priorities change and then that's it. It's not so simple as that. It's it's a skill. It's a discipline, right? It's so easy for you if you, you know, if you're a project manager and you move up into a director role and you see there's a certain project and they, they have some sort of obstacle that you can help with or you have an idea that you want, you know, you want them to try. Um, you know, it's a, it's, I don't want to say a conflict of interest, but it's not, it's not in your best interest to get involved. You know, you can guide employees, but don't ever really step in to kind of do the work. Once, once you're promoted, it's, it's so easy to fall into that pattern. It's so easy to want to kind of um, get involved like you were before, roll up your sleeves. And, you know, some people want to lead by example. Some people think that um, it's their responsibility to get involved. And maybe, you know, that maybe that works for them, but uh, it's not it's not a good practice. Uh, you need to be able to kind of trust your employees. You need to be able to really uh, focus on the big picture as you move up, move up and be okay or kind of just um, be okay with yourself that, you know, as you grow, you're going to lose certain responsibilities, some of which you might have enjoyed, um, and become more and more enterprise focused and less, less, you know, people focused. So instead of thinking about your team, you're going to reach a point where your company, the entire company is your team, the entire department is your team. Um, you can't really have any love for any particular group of people. Uh, you have to really focus on just the big picture.